How are you preparing the next generation of family leaders? The, the advice I give my kids and, and, and the same advice I give them with sports and school is um, you got to put the effort in. You know, you can't just show up to a game and expect to play, be your best. So a, a lot of it is, is all the practices you put in, you know, prepare for that game. Same, same with preparing for a, for a test. I tell them, you know, you got, you got to do the worksheets and, and, and all the school work. Um, business is no different. You know, there's a lot of preparations that go up, you know, to execute in business. And it's not all just the, the end game. You know, there's a lot of build up to that end game, similar to how they prepare for school and sports. I think, um, you know, really instilling that work ethic and that understanding that, you know, not every day is going to be easy, but if they keep consistently working towards it and, and kind of keep that faith that, you know, their good, their hard work will pay off. Um, so I, I think it's just that, that perseverance that keep working towards the long game. Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, in this day and age, it's kind of that, that Instagram culture and people expect that immediate gratification for whatever efforts they're making. Um, but understanding that there's a, there's a lot of training, there's a lot of um, little steps that kind of go behind that, that Instagram moment and they need to just stay focused and, and have confidence in what they're doing. Um, and it, it will pay off, but it might not be as instantaneous as they expect. So about four years ago, um, her mother, Kim, started mentoring her. So uh, Kim's been the COO since the company started. Uh, so she started mentoring Julie in, a, in, in January of 2020, about two months before uh, COVID hit, uh, Julie took over the COO position uh, from her mom and done a great job. Her, her mom uh, uh, has, is still here two days a week and is kind of a, a still a mentor at least, and uh, no, is a mentor and, and, and a consultant and, yes. <laughs> and all those things. And Christopher, it, you know, for me, it's never been much, it never has really been a legacy thing as, as um, you know, because we were prepared to retire and sell the company. But once Julie expressed interest, and since we had been exposed to so many businesses that most didn't successfully do it, uh, do it well, uh, the succession plan, that's why it became so important us to put time into it. And again, along with the help of the, of the group that I'm in, it, it was a, so to give her a real chance at pulling this off and, and surviving and, and getting to be a successful second generation business. We have so much fun together. Obviously it's a lot of hard work. And as you said, with the family dynamics, there's like give and take and all that. But um, we make a really awesome team. And I for, feel very blessed that I get to work with my family. So Joe and I have been working together for some time. And that's our method of preparing for the future generation. My first paycheck at the firm was when I was 12. I did filing. But I think I started interning officially as a sophomore in high school. I get to work with my son every day. And it's just, you know, something that I treasure every day and probably for the rest of my life.